Hey, good evening everyone. This is Blitzball Champ starting up a fresh new stream and a brand new Let's Blitz series of playthroughs. Tonight, I'm going to get started on a game that I've been wanting to play for a long time. Unfortunately, when it was first released, I didn't really have the equipment to play. But this time, it's been re-released, remastered, and I'm looking forward to playing this. This is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. And I'll be playing it on the PlayStation 4. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and dive right in. Ooh, I like that graphic. But yeah, I've always wanted to play this originally, but never had the uh, never had the equipment on GameCube, the extra Game Boy uh, advances to really play this. So looking forward to playing this. Now I've kind of read up a little bit about the multiplayer. You know, there's in this version, there's no local multiplayer. There's no couch co-op. And I heard that also um, with the multiplayer, I can invite folks, but only the host, I guess, gets the, the main story. And you can't, like, really... You can only multiplayer through dungeons. So, something to keep in mind. But I'll open it up to um at any point in time uh for those that uh see me online playing this if at any point in time you would like for me to join or join or you join me just let me know i don't mind anyway let's get started in terms of Yep, English is fine. Yeah, whoever reads those. All right, let's do this. Looking forward to this.
to be some of the enemies. Okay. Enter a name to be displayed during online play. It's possible to change the name later. All safe shot slash shareless name. Well, of course you know what name I'm gonna gonna pick. Do I have enough letters? Only seven letters? Goodness gracious. Uh. Wow. Uh. Oh. Dang, I can't even fit Blitz Ace? Jeez. Uh. Wow, that sucks. Well, I guess that's close enough. Come, let us record your adventures in this journal. It shall be known as the Crystal Chronicles. First, we must know the name of your hometown. Okay. Dang, only seven letters for the village name? Ugh. Wow. Really? Only seven letters? Jeez. Uh. Dang, a village name. I should at least get ten. Well, considering my love for Blitzball, and I know, in fact, Xanarkin can't fit, because Xanarkin's more than seven letters, I will decide to go with the next best thing with the next best Blitzball Dome. Luca. Dawn, the morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There's a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow I set out in search of mire. You will have to collect drops of mire from lands far and wide to keep your crystal glowing. Okay, I did remember hearing something about that. Um... Okay. Dang, I can't even choose options or letters or any of this. Uh, choose, I guess I gotta make a character. Okay. Let's make a character. You'll need a strong party to help run your caravan on your adventure. Choose up to eight members from the four tribes. Okay. Clav Clavat, a tribe of warmth. The Clavats seek unity and friendship above all else. 
They are down to earth, peaceful, and see all others as friends, no matter their background. Oh, well, that's nice. The Lilti. A proud warrior tribe steeped in tradition, the Liltis once ruled the continent through hot headed. Oh, though hot headed, their frank nature makes them admirable merchants. Huh. Well, they definitely look brave and dangerous. The the Yuki or UK, I don't know how you I don't know how you pronounce that. A soft spoken tribe of wisdom and research. The Yukes once used magic to resist the might of the Liltis. Their otherworldly physical forms are said to be simply souls that augment their magical abilities. Okay, I'ma just be honest. This these guys look kinda ugly. I mean come on, all 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 of this is just it's just a helmet? Like, you can't see their face or anything like that? I don't know, that design looks kind of ugly, but whatever. Um, and Selkie. A tribe of individualists, the Selkies clothe themselves in furs and stolen goods. Their almost primal agility has led many Selkies to take up a life of brigandry and thievery. Oh, so they're the, they're the sneaky folks. So, Clavot, who seem like the cool, down-to-earth, friendly people. The Lil T, who seem like the the hot-headed, aggressive, brave dudes and dudettes. The Ukes are the magicians, I guess it's pretty much, you know, plain and simple. And the Selkie are like the, the sneaky, thievery type folks. Okay. Well, let's let's create a character. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. Uh. I guess I should just create one of each, maybe, perhaps. Oh, and they got a female version of each. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. Um I guess we'll start with the clavat. Yeah, let's let's And then let's see natural, cowlick, headband, cap, bob. Huh. Wait, that's supposed to be a dude? Huh. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Well. Well, I like green, and he's wearing green, so I'm gonna pick that one. Oh, voices. Fire! Blizzard! Yeah! Fire! Blizzard! Yeah! Uh, fire! Blizzard! <laughs> fire! Blizzard! Yeah. Fire! Yeah. Uh, fire! Blizzard! Yeah. Fire! Blizzard! Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Select home job. Ooh! So, blacksmith, tailor, farmer, rancher, miller, fisher, merchant, alchemist. Uh... Dang. So, got got eight jobs to pick from. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh... Well, shoot. Well, alchemist and blacksmith already have, have my undivided attention. Uh... You know what, let's make this dude an alchemist. Yeah, that's gonna be your home job. And then I gotta give him a name. Uh... Hmm. Dang, I gotta name him. Uh...
I'm going to call him... I'm going to call him Kage. <laughs> sure. You're Kage. Sure. Set out the crystal caravan. off by his father, Arion, his mother, Christy, his brother, Samuel, and his sister, Polly. Sister named Polly? Isn't Polly a boy's name? Oh, that's, that's weird, but okay. Whatever. your caravan. Okay. Okay. Take a drink of water. Hail, fellow caravaner. Uh, hail to you. You are the caravan from that village, are you not? I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. My name is Soul Rock. I am captain of the caravan from the great fortress at Alphataria. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back thousands of years. But let us discuss that some other time. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? This is the village caravan. Come on, say hello. Allow me to introduce Stiltskin. Oh, you mean like Rumple Stiltskin? <laughs> he may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. No, I'm just a Moogle that likes to get around. That's his voice? Wow. Not what I expected. I learned all sorts of things in my travels before I knew it. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Yes, the way, teach me. Are you setting out all by yourself, Kapo? As far as I know. You've got a lot on your shoulders, Kapo. Oh, this is the other mod. Let me carry the crystal chalice for you, Kapo. Yes, a capital proposal. Let Mog help you. Well. Let's find a better spot. Cool. OK. 
Okay. What's up? Okay, what do you want to know? Guess this is the tutorial. About the world. Sure. Sama and crystals. Our world is covered in me my miasma. 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 I guess I think I said that right. Sustained contact with miasma gradually drains your life away. Okay. Crystals protect us from the miasma. Pounds big and small each maintain a crystal to hold it at bay. See, crystals must be purified with fire once a year, or they lose their brilliance. Crystal caravanners, like you, journey to seek out that mire. Drops of mire are gathered in the crystal chalice. Chalice not only carries mire, but it also protects the caravan from miasma. The goal of your journey is to find mire trees all over the world, and you guessed it, your path to the mire trees is blocked by hordes of monsters. Fill the chalice with the mire before bringing it back to your village. But each tree yields only a tiny drop of mire at once. Only a tiny drop? That's kind of lame. A big tree like that? I should be able to fill my whole chalice. But then again, that would probably be too easy. <laughs> uh, so you must find several mire trees in order to fill your chalice with mire. Once you draw mire from a tree... It can take as long as two years for for it to replenish itself. Really? Two years? Dang! These are some weak trees! <laughs> so keep looking for other trees. Are you ready for the second step? Uh, yeah. Great torrents called the streams of Masma cut through the world, dividing it into sections. Each each miasma stream possesses a certain element. To cross a stream and enter the lands beyond, you must change your crystal chalice's element to match that of the stream. There are four elements. Fire, earth, water, and wind. If you're trying to cross a stream of fire, your chalice had better be of fire, too. You can tell what your chalice's current element is by the color of its aura. So how do you change the chalice's element? Well, you can place the chalice on platforms called hotspots. Doing so will change the element of your chalice to that of the hotspot. Once your chalice's element matches that of the stream you want to cross, go ahead and rush through. Also, once you've drawn mire from a particular place, you can change your element by simply visiting that place again. Oh, okay. Oh, this must be the aura. Okay. What's up? How to wield weapons. Select attack from the command list and press the X button to attack with your weapon. You can unleash combos, combo attacks if you press the X button repeatedly with the right timing. So physical attacks. Uh. Get right on. Oh, so I pretty much have to carry this and stay in this zone to be protected. Okay, fair enough. Use focus attacks to defeat powerful enemies. Hold down the X button until you see a targeting ring appear. Move the ring with the with the D-pad left stick and line it up with the enemy. Release the X button to unleash your attack. Alright. Oh. Oh, man. Come here! Oh, okay. Okay, that's enough. Well, that's all I have to say about using a weapon in combat. Okay, fair enough. What's up? 
how to cast spells. In order to cast spells, you have to add them to your command list. This list determines what the X button does. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You can cycle through the actions on the list with the left and right shoulders. Okay. Press the square button to open the main menu. Then open the command list menu. If you're already in a different sub-menu, press the left and right shoulder button to cycle what you want to do. Aside from the attack and defend slots, you can customize the command list with any magicite or items you like. If you want to cast spells, pick magicite. Pick a magic site while your command list has empty. If you pick up a magic site while your command list has empty slots, its spell will automatically appear on the command list. Once you're done, press square button to close the menu. All right, let's give it a shot. You can cycle through different commands for the X button by pressing left and right shoulder buttons. So press left and right until attack changes to fire. Casting spells is similar to unleashing focus attacks. Just hold down X button and move the targeting ring, and then release. Okay. Let's cast some spells. Fire. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. Dang, I just have to be sure to, like, keep my distance. That's the only thing. I just gotta keep my distance when doing this. Because apparently I can't move around while I'm casting spells. Spell fusion, fusing spells. Let me tell you about spell fusion. You fuse two different spells on the command list together, they create an entire, entirely new spell. Let's try putting fire and, and blizzard next to each other on the command list, then selecting fuse. Once this is done, you can cast the spell gravity. Oh! Okay. Cast a new spell you would like like you would any other. Select gravity and the left and right buttons and hold down X button wait for the targeting ring up here. Select a target, release the button. Okay. Uh... Wait. How do I do the fusion? Wait, I'm confused. Hold up. Wait, I don't get it. How exactly do I do I do the, the fusion? Oh. Oh, okay. I had to had to do it from the menu. Gravity. Oh dang, I, I guess I wasn't close enough. Gravity. Okay, why is it not hitting? Come here! Gravity. Ah, there we go. Dang. Gravity. Gravity. Wait, so do I not have MP? I guess I don't have to worry about MP? Gravity. Gravity. Ah, dang it, it moved. Come here! Gravity. Gravity. Huh. I think you got it. Try using that in battle. I have to say about casting magic in battle. By the way, any magic site you find will disappear once you leave its native area. Also, you can sometimes find urns full of water or oil. Throw one to spread its contents all over the floor. Oil can be ignited with fire, and water can be frozen with blizzard. 
or electrified with thunder. Okay. Oil can be ignited with fire. Water can be frozen with blizzard. Or electrified with thunder. Handle with care. So, the urn traps you set can hurt you too. Oh. Interesting. Okay, that's how I that's how I do that. Okay, so just put them next to each other and, and fuse. Oh, okay, that's fair. Charge it up. Yeah. And then defend. Okay. Okay, defend is just easy. Just switch to it and just hit X. Okay. Wow, so I, I I don't have to worry about MP? Wow, that's kind of cool. Huh. Well, all right then. What's up? Uh, about Mog's Hill. While adventuring alone, Mog will accompany you. He'll carry the chalice for you while you're busy fighting monsters or carrying objects. Oh, well, that's cool to know. I was kind of worried there for a second. It's like, wait, how can you really do this? But if he's going to be carrying the chalice, then that I guess that makes it easy for me to focus on the monsters. To ask Mog to carry the chalice, drop it and then press the triangle button. Oh, okay. And when he's carrying it, press the triangle button to have him drop it. Oh, okay, so I can command him to pick it up and drop it. That's cool. You can also call him close to you by holding down the triangle button, so hold it down. Okay. Here, let's try it. Pick it up. Okay, picked it up. Okay. Put it down. Okay. Okay, he just came close to me. Pick it up. Put it down. Pick it up. Put it down. <laughs> Pick up your jacket. Hang it up. Drop your jacket. <laughs> Just went all karate kid. But okay. Yeah, that's 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 pretty simple. Alright. What's up? Um Yeah, I guess we'll be going. I see. Yeah, I mean Check your diary you went back on the uh, sure. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, okay. It's just a diary. Not far from the village, someone called to me. The man introduced himself as Soul Rock, leader of the caravan. Oh, okay. It was just, just a diary entry. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... Oh, okay, now I can actually... I can actually take on a dungeon. Okay. Friend data. Oh, okay, I can actually do stuff. Okay, make pals. You can check your followers and who you follow. If two players mutually follow each other, they become friends and can invite each other to games online. Accepting an invite lets you play online regardless of where your caravan is on the world map. But some dungeons have special requirements to enter. Okay, duly noted. In your profile, you can set a name and add a quick headline others players will see. 
Uh, cool. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Can I see the stats? What's what's a mimic? <clears throat> oh, I'm I'm not even sure what the heck this is. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this must be the DLC characters. Interesting. I can actually, I guess, I guess that's what that is, but, huh. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> I do kind of want to make a character for each class. I kind of wonder... I can't check, like, the stats of the character? I kind of want to check the stats of the character. not. Any unread? No. Well, here. Let's just... Let's get started. Let's just get started and, uh... Thanks. I'm glad. Yeah, let's just... Let's get started. Um... So current element is fire. River bell path. Uh wait, what just what just happened? Started. Just getting started. <laughs> uh, hang in there and you'll be just fine. Yes, just keep your chin up. You'll get a year's worth of myrrh in no time. Right. Well, see you around. Farewell. Okay, that was. That was kind of random. That was really random.
What's over here? Port Luca. Misama stream. Mis Miasma stream. River Let's just check this area out. River Bell Path. Okay, you may adventure into dungeons either in single player or multiplayer mode. Choose which mode you would like to play before entering a dungeon. You may also choose to play multiplayer view set, set out together option. Well, it's like I said, you know, at any point in time, if anybody ever wants to uh, take on a dungeon together, just let me know. But for now, I'm gonna do this single. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea what to expect, but hey, we gonna go at this guns blazing. They say that wicked creatures prowl the road along this beautiful riverbank, but nobody's ever seen one. I once asked a man why. He simply replied, because anybody who happens upon one is promptly eaten, but it is long since anyone has met such a fate. For nowadays, people take another route, far away from the spooky old road. Only we walk the old way now. Travelers in crystal caravans. River Bell Path. Prepare your command list. Bonus points, pick up money. Uh, okay, you're carrying. Do I not have magic spell? Oh, I guess I gotta pick pick them up or whatnot. But okay. Okay, well, let's do this. You're carrying this thing, so you're in charge. Uh, to the right is the, the roundabout route. To the left is the scenic route. Uh, okay. Left or right? Left or right? That's nice group. We'll go right. Uh oh, I don't think I can even go this way. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, I need somebody to lower the bridge. Uh, maybe. Uh, 
Oh, well, I can't really get on. Can't get to the other side. Well, well, crap, that sucks. Well, at least I got the first part of the bridge. <laughs> hey, Princess Fluff, what's up? Tiny Adventures. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I guess we have no choice but to go this way. Oh, and there's an enemy up ahead. Come on, let's do this. Ooh. A lot of folks around here. Come here! Ha! Hey, I beat him! Cool! Oh, a stone of fire! Oh, I can use fire! Cool! Come here! Ha-ha! Take that! Oh, snap! And I got a slice of meat. Wait, what is this? Oh, it changes the, uh... Changes the element. Oh, okay. Alright, uh... Go get it. Uh, okay, let's keep going. So that's a, that's another, another hot spot. Okay. Oh, dang. Fire. Wow. Dang, I can take this thing out with a fire spell. Wait, what is this? Ooh, cure spell. What is, what is this? What the heck is this? go here? Ah. Oh, cool. Oh, I can throw these. Oh, there's nothing in there. Let's do... You know what? Let's do... Cure. I don't think I can use these, but... Yeah, so got cure and I got fire. Cool. Ooh, chest. Come here. Another cure stone. Okay. All right. Oh, dang, I missed. I'm gonna throw this at you. Ha! Oh, dang, I missed again. Oh, you punk. Yeah, I got you that time. Raise. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Oh, snap! There's a big one! What you throwing that at me for? Dang! Oh, man. Okay, well, let's look him out. Oh, that hit me? Fire. Fire. Got him that time. Vegetable seed. Sure. 
Oh, okay, I can heal myself. I was about to say. Okay. Uh... What's over here? Anything over here? Oh! Yeah, put it right there. Hey, I can get across the bridge now. Go get that. Oh, are you stuck? Really? Come here. That's cool. I can get, a, get across the bridge now. And I guess enemies don't... Don't respawn or anything. Uh, doesn't look like it. Wait, what's over here? I don't think I've been over here. Have I been over here? Maybe I have. Princess Fluff, do you have this game? Oh, I can't get through there. Alright. Really? This 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 thing gets tired of carrying it? Ah, whatever. I guess I'll carry it for now. Jeez. Wait, I just went that way. What's over here? Let me carry the chalice, Capone. Make up your mind! <laughs> for bronze, but a design for a bronze bell. heck is that? Ooh, thunder. Well, I can fuse these. Gives me gravity. But for now... Let's do Cure and Fire for now. Oh, it's two of y'all! Actually, a 
let's go back the other way. I'm kind of curious. Ooh, there's another big dude. Phoenix down. Designed for a novice weapon. Okay. Oh, hey there! I know I couldn't get him before. Right, it's a Moogle house, to the left, old road, dead end. Oh, there's a chest. 
chest. Bronze armor. Nice. Well, let's go to the local house. Oh, okay, it was water the whole time. <laughs> to the right is the Mugo House, the left, extreme danger. Okay. Hey! Might not damage him. Okay, let me try and fire. Okay, that hurt him. Okay. 
Okay, that seems to be working. That almost hit me. Raise and fire does slow. Ooh. Let's try that. Aha!
dang. Now I'm slow. Hit me? Dang, that's that's a pretty big drop. Huh. Kept thinking it was gonna be super small, but that was a pretty decent sized drop. Hail Moogle at your service, Capo! Is this? Here you go, Capo. 
A letter from Roland. Roland Beckison? No, I'm just joking. To our caravan. How is everything? You may be facing hardships that drag your spirits down. But always remember that the caravan gives hope to us all. May, your, may you return safely, Kaige. From Roland. Thank you. Uh, send something. Uh, maybe I can send an item. Uh, hmm. Here's a cherry cluster. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Wait, what the heck just happened? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Ah, oh, what the heck? Oh, I can't believe that. But this is... But this is the primary one. Really? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well. <laughs> Looks like I have to end it there. Let me try to... Uh, let me try to fix this. And then hopefully we'll be be able to continue in the next part of the playthrough for some dumb reason this isn't activated as the primary console even though this is my primary console but um hopefully in the next part that'll be fixed i do apologize for that but um i'm gonna stop it here and try to get this fixed and then resume so um stay tuned